Okay. Hey guys, Gobi. Gobi. Uh guys, things are bad. Uh oh, do you remember this account that is linked to oh, oh, look, oh, your president, right? Upala Pala, the account of Ukulam. Ukulam has escaped the country. Hey guys, Gobi. The man has escaped the country. He said that there are people who has put money on his head. In other words, there's a hit on him, so he decided to run away from this country. Uh, as of me recording this, he has arrived in another in a different country. He tweeted that uh, that he has arrived in a different country where he's running to. Right uh, today, independent media confirmed that they have opened a case. Uh, look, this man. So this man will be arrested. So wherever he is. It will now be the duty of the South African Police Service uh, with their resources, which they do have, uh, to investigate the man until they unlock or they get to know exactly where he is. With that being said, the, uh, a case that has been opened, let me give you a case number, a message from the South African Police Services, case registered as 2107 uh, 2024 uh, the police station is crashed uh, yeah that, that 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 is what we we now know about ukulam that the case has been open in an article released by IOL uh, published at this time at about 8 hours ago they they said in they said that a breaking news charges laid against U ukulam mohammed suleiman valda Creator of notorious X uh, X account Golam, right? Criminal charges has been officially filed against U Golam Mohammed Suleiman Valda, the individual behind the controversial X account Golam V. Oh, now it makes sense why it, his name is oh, what what Valda. So oh, that V always stood for Valda. Okay. But yeah, the most important thing is that uh, the man is linked to, uh, uh, the, the man is linked to uh, up until Uramaposa that they, they, look, there was somebody at the presidential office that will share sensitive information with the, this person. And thus, this person was able to, Toilet, look, uh, was able to neutralize the enemies of uh, the enemies of uh, Ramaphosa and uh, revealed sensitive information that they know that this information comes from nothing else but trusted sources. With that being said, uh, we need to we need information as well here to be that comes from trusted sources like you. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed iol can confirm that a case registered at the rodaport police station according to sources the charges were brought forth by a senior media editor not affiliated with the independent media group this move follows Velda's alarming post on X over the weekend where he indicated an intention to flee the country after being unmasked. Uh, the tweet says, Because an owner of a media house and another person that I have rightly called out have put a total three million on my head, I have safely left the country. I will reach... The will reach my final destination country tomorrow 
which I can call home for, for a while, I will then continue doing what I am doing. So in other words, this Twitter account says, the man says, I'm going to terrorize you guys. If you think it was the last, the beginning or, I mean, the end of things, no, you're actually mistaken because I'm coming in, like I'm coming gun blazing. Wait a minute. That's what the man said. The South African Police Service can confirm the case, right? Independent media investigated and unmasked Valda as an individual behind the X account that has been terrorizing politicians, business leaders, and individuals since 2018 under a shadow of anonymity. anonymity. In the first time since the account was started that the identity behind the account has been revealed. This is developing story. That's at least according to a um, media, uh, a, a look, a, what is this thing? That's at least according to a, blah, 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 according to this media house, right? Uh, that's at least according to them that the story is developing, but the man has fled the country, All right? There are quite a number of things that uh, it's worth noticing, right? Uh, Lindy was just to complain about the fact that the person, the information they seem to have, it's a classified information. So somebody from the intelligence department uh, must have shared the information, yet they are not allowed by policy to do so, but they did, right? Uh, and Lindy was also let complain about the fact that, you know what, I'm a member of the intelligence department, I've served in the intelligence department, but there are information that you will never see me sharing, never, ever, 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 ever. But this individual was sharing all of that. So you've got an individual that behave as he please behaves as he wants, post what he wants, when he wants it, okay? At least those are the sentiments that we're getting from, uh, at least those are the sentiments that we're getting from everything, the, the unmasking and everything, uh, from Abolindi with Sulu as well. It has also been said, the individual confirmed that he has fled the country. He is going to be on another country. The question is, would, is it going to be easier for, South, for the South African police service to bring him back? You know why I'm saying that? It's because there is now a developing tendency or history where you've got the likes of Abo, you've got the likes of Abo Bushiri. Once they left the country, it was difficult to bring back Bushiri. You've got the likes of Abo, Abo um, the AJ, sorry, AJ Gupta brothers. Once they exit the country, that's always been difficult. In fact, one will even ask. Uh, right now, there's, there, 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 there are these guys near about AKA store, right? One will even ask, has the country been successful in making sure that they I almost say repatriate, but it's not repatriate, it's extradition, yes. Because a repatriate, uh, you're talking about a dead person, or a, yeah, uh, that's repatriation. Uh, oh, even a, not a dead person, I'm not sure, yeah. But in, in this case, it's an extradition. Ooh, the, the, I don't think the country has got the highest rate in terms of uh, extradition. Because if the guy, for instance, if the guy is somewhere in the Middle East, I don't think it's going to be difficult. It's going to be easy for, the South, for South Africa to bring him to, South Af to, to, to here. But again, if a case has been open, no matter how long it takes, as long as he's got f family here, even after 10 years, as long as there's a warrant of arrest on his head and he's nowhere to be found, if he set his foot after 10 years, 15 years, they would, can still arrest you. So it's one interesting thing to watch. And I'm just wondering, hmm, how is this thing going to look? Uh, how is this going to uh, pan out? Like, because real, real guys, South Africa does not have a good success rate in terms of extradition. Really, South Africa doesn't have enough of that. You're going to have to tell me in the comment section below. I'll be watching out for your comments. But for me, I think it's over. The man is gone. It's out of the outside of this country, so it's gone. Bye-bye. That's at least according to me.